What is up everyone? This is KKK here. And today guys I'll be making a rant on the love and hip hop Miami and the New York reunion. Parts one and part two. There are two parts and they both plain suck. Now let's get to the New York version first. Okay, so there's only a few problems I had with the reunion itself. Guess what? I just cannot stand the reunion at all. At all. I'm dead serious. And no one, no one should be watching this. This is complete foolishness. I make rants like almost every day. Especially Teen Titans Go, Fair Fat, Dirt, Love and Hip Hop, and Cheaters, and Rob and China. But these two rants will be posted on YouTube, and everybody needs to hear this. This New York reunion is terrible. Terrible. I do not wish to watch this one. It's terrible and it's absolutely horrendous. Horrendous. You know why? This is the same thing why I don't like the love and hip hop reunions. They argue too much. They argue too goddamn much. All the time. All the time. Why you guys have to argue and just have to be mad? And you got why you guys have to fight over the reunion? You guys just ruin the whole reunion. Just why? Why, man? It don't make no sense when you guys do that. And the fights? Come on, man. The fights has to stop. If you guys talk um talk about love and how your life has been and uh, who's your relationship with and all stuff, that would be great. But fighting and arguing about something is just horrendous. And atrocious. It doesn't make no sense at all. There's only one girl who said, I just cannot understand her. She's just talking gibberish and other sort of sorts of crap that me, my mother, cannot stand at all. Me and my mother. Both of us cannot understand what she was saying. First of all, we don't know where she's from. We know she speaks Spanish, but we don't know which Spanish country she's from. I cannot hear her. She probably can't speak English, right? But I ain't gonna lie. This reunion sucked. This Spanish chick, she keep on saying, Shut up. No one wants to hear you, man. Now, before everyone gets mad at me at saying, why are you making a rant on these two reunions? Come on, guys. This is my opinion. So, don't even think about saying, okay, this reunion, you know, it's a good thing. I mean, it's a good show. It's not that bad. No, it's not, guys. This is a bad reunion to watch. This New York reunion is terrible. I'm not going to lie. It is terrible to watch. Now let's get to the Miami version. Now this reunion, oh my god. This reunion, the Miami reunion, is atrocious. There's only a couple problems I have with the reunion itself. It's completely atrocious. And it's horrendous as well. The fighting scenes. It always had to be the fighting scenes and the arguments. Just why? Just why? Why I always have to be an argument all the time during the reunion? And one thing I did not mention in the New York and the Miami version is after they always argue, the host from the Love and Hip Hop reunion always had to say, we'll be right back after this Love and Hip Hop reunion. And then they go to the 60 second commercial break all the time. And it's so annoying. It's annoying to me, and I decide not to watch this reunion again. I swear to God, I hope there's no love never of Hollywood nor Atlanta reunion. I want another love and hip hop 
that I want her to be good. Like Love and Hip Hop Detroit and Love and Hip Hop Minnesota or Love and Hip Hop Compton, California. If it, if it does have that and if there's no fighting scenes, I will be so happy so I can watch that with my sister. I want to see Love and Hip Hop Detroit. I want to see Love and Hip Hop uh, Ohio. I want to see Love and Hip Hop Michigan, which is in Detroit. I want to see Love and Hip Hop Washington. I want to see Love and Hip Hop Compton. I don't want to see Love and Hip Hop Los Angeles. And if it doesn't have any fighting scenes, I will be so happy. And if it if it does not, then I ain't gonna watch it. But I hope each one um learned their mistakes. That's the shows I really want to see. Love and Hip Hop Detroit, Love and Hip Hop Los Angeles, Love and Hip Hop Minnesota, Love and Hip Hop Michigan, Love and Hip Hop Compton. Love and Hip Hop Pennsylvania, Love and Hip Hop um, Washington, Love and Hip Hop Virginia, Love and Hip Hop Alaska, Love and Hip Hop um, Chicago, and other um, United States countries. Why you guys cannot put Love and Hip Hop Hawaii? If you guys put that there, there will be a great show. No, seriously, what it will be? It will be a great show. But these are all the shows I wanted to see so badly on VH1. And please, don't put fighting scenes. Don't ever put fighting scenes. And if you guys do, and you guys refuse to listen to what I said, I'm not going to watch your garbage shows ever again. Trust me, I am not. Anyways, the New York reunion is awful. And it's very, very atrocious and horrendous. And the Miami version is just awful. It's awful as well. I remember one time when I watched half of the reunion, this guy named Baby Blue, I don't know what his last name is, he he argued the host. Are you serious? How are you going to argue the host so fast? Next time um, the host from Love and Hip Hop series, you say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, man, chill, chill, chill. Take it easy, man. And, and you guys refuse to take it easy. And you guys always have to fight. Fight, 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 fight. All the time. All the time. All the time. It happens every single day and every single episode. It happens, you know? But the fight scenes from Love Never Series, Black and Blue Chicago, Scare Famous, and um, what's another show called? That's all I can say. That's all of the four shots I can say. I'm not going to get into sign now. Because I don't think Sign had too many fighting teams. But the fighting teams in every single reality show on VH1 has to start. Except for America's Next Top Model. Which is my favorite all-time show on VH1. And I love it. I love it. I, I love it. I really love it. There's so many funny fighting teams I really love. No, seriously, there's a lot of fighting scenes. I really love, and the fighting scenes are so funny. But Love and Hip Hop series, Black and Cool Chicago, Black and Cool Cheaters, and Scared Famous. It's absolutely terrible. They they fight so weak. Their fights are so weak. I'm not gonna lie. The, the women don't have strong muscles, man. And every single Phase one show. They don't have strong muscles. They just have, you know, weak muscles. They didn't probably practice in WWE. They don't want to be a WWE star to fight, you know? But I am not. I hope there's no love and hip hop, Hollywood, and Atlanta um, reunion. I hope it doesn't. But VH1, like I said, I want to see Love and Hip Hop Detroit. I want to see Love and Hip Hop Los Angeles. I want to see um, Love and Hip Hop Compton, California. I want to see Love and Hip Hop Santa Barbara. I want to see um, what's another sh- um, what's another state. I want to see Love and Hip Hop Detroit, Michigan. I want to see 
Love Nip of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and so much more. And don't add fighting scenes. Just add some fight scenes that are like okay. And remove the fighting scenes and the other scenes where women were stripping like nude or half nude. Just add scenes that where they're dating or somewhere else. That's all I want to see in every single Love and Nipple series. And if you guys bought these shows and you guys don't add fight, um, fighting scenes or anything else that girls are like, you know, stripping nude and other stuff, I'll be great. And I will watch the shows with my sister. And I'll be excited to watch it. And of course, I want to see the show TV 14. But Love and Hip Hop series, for example, New York, Miami, La, um, Hollywood, and Atlanta, should be rated TV mature. Or should I say rated TV MA? MA. Rated TV MA. That's all the shows I want to see. But these shows, Love and Hip Hop series, Black and Cool Chicago, um, Scare Famous, and Signed, we, and Cheaters, remove them. Basketball wise, same thing. Remove them. Remove them. That's all I want to say about this rant. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.